The Western New York community is mourning the loss of a music legend. Singer Lance Diamond passed away last night. He had been hospitalized, suffering from heart complications recently, and he even canceled his annual New Year's Eve performance at Milky's on Elmwood. Mike Randall takes a look back at his career that spanned four decades. <laughs> Lance Diamond made a new friend in 1986 when a young musician moved into his apartment building. He lived in the attic. I lived on the second floor, and there was a big hallway that, that had an amazing reverb in it. So he used to stand in that hallway and sing all the time. So I'd hear him down in my apartment. Robbie Takak went on to superstardom with the Goo Goo Dolls, but remained friends nearly 30 years with Western New York's hardest working entertainer. We fell in love with his passion. And he fell in love with like our recklessness and like our energy, you know. So that cemented a really great relationship really early on. Lance Diamond knew the secret to entertaining a crowd, a secret he generously shared with another young singer named Caitlin Cook. Honestly, he gave me advice on how to be a better entertainer. And I listened to him because he was the greatest. Caitlin went on to X Factor fame and has become an annual part of the New Year's festivities downtown, but she fondly remembers Lance coming to see her early performances at Elmwood Lounge. And he never missed a night that we performed. And he would come out in his little rugby shirt. He always wore those striped rugby shirts. And he would watch the performance. And he just, he was a phenomenal person. I got to know him that way. She couldn't pass up the chance last September to perform with Lance Diamond at Larkin Square. For him to take the time to not only tell me that he believed in me, but also encourage me to be better than I was, um, that meant a lot to me. In a career spanning 40 years, audiences came to respect Lance Diamond's special talent. According to his friend Robbie Takak, it was mutual. When people came and wanted to share in that thing that he was doing, he gave them the utmost of respect, man. Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News.